Is it time to buy or sell NEO stock? In this video, we're diving deep into NEO. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, June 8, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 24, 2023, our system has ranked NEO as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 1.65. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 1.64%. This translates to an average loss of minus 0.15% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 14.96% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 26.03% and 1.42%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 58.64% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 77.07% and minus 42.98%. This translates to a price range of $1.79 to $4.44 after a year. Our latest daily update for NEO includes the headline, Green Day on Thursday for NEO. The NEO stock price gained 0.387% on the last trading day, Thursday, June 8, 2023, rising from $7.76 to $7.79. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 3.82% from a day low at $7.60 to a day high of $7.89. The price has risen in 7 of the last 10 days but is still down by minus 1.64% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 16 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 63 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $488.22 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $24.43, and the lowest price was $7. Currently, the price is 68.11%, or $16.64, below the 52-week high, and 88.37%, or $59.20, below the all-time high on January 11, 2021 when the price reached $66.99. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, November 17, 2022, UBS set a price target of 13. On Thursday, November 17, 2022, UBS set a price target of 13. On Thursday, November 17, 2022, UBS set a price target of 13. On Thursday, June 30, 2022, HSBC set a price target of 28. On Thursday, June 30, 2022, HSBC set a price target of 28. Analysts have given NEO stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for NEO. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, May 30, 2023, and so far it has risen 5.13%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The NEO stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $7.95. 
On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $7.68. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, buy signal 8 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 12 days ago. Short term moving average, buy signal 5 days ago. Long term moving average, sell signal 12 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 36 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see. Short moving average, buy signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 181 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 175 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for NEO NEO finds support from accumulated volume at $7.54 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $0.290 between high and low, or 3.82%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 5.23%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for NEO, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A negative PE ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on SEP 05, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for NEO. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for NEO is at $8.75. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, NEO encounters its first support level at $7.54. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is NEO stock a good buy? NEO holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Friday, June 9th, we expect NEO to open down dash $0.0300 and start trading at $7.76. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.